I love how if there is even a hint of a hurricane on the horizon, suddenly everyone's a meteorologist. Ready or not, it's that time of year again. Hurricane season. Woo! Neither my anxiety nor my supply kit is ready, but here we are. And I want to talk about something that's important that I feel like gets misunderstood every year, even by some seasoned Floridians, and that would be the hurricane tracking maps. You got your cone of concern, your spaghetti plots, the models. I'm talking the GFS, the Euro, the h Wharf. There's a lot of different models, but these are like your main ones. They're like your Tyra, your Naomi, your Kate. They're legends. They've been around a while. They generally know what they're doing. So if you've lived in Florida for even one hurricane season, you've seen these. But I just don't think people understand them. And listen, I'm not shaming you if you don't. It's a lot of information to process. Can't tell you how many times during commercial breaks I would ask the meteorologist right after they did the weather, so should I tell my family to evacuate or not? It's challenging, so let's break it all down so we're on the same page this year, starting with spaghetti plots. And honestly, I hate these. If it is more than a week out, this looks like something my toddler drew. It shows landfalls anywhere from like the Carolinas to Miami. That helps no one. And then you have the doom and gloom non-meteorologists who will choose the one track that shows the worst possible scenario for their area and post it. So then it puts real meteorologists in this catch-22 of like, if you don't talk about it, people think that you're hiding something from them. But if you do talk about it, even if you're just trying to explain it, suddenly people are panicking because they think we're going to get hit with a hurricane. And before you know it, our phones are ringing off the hook with people confused and panicked. And it's just a cluster. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. So here's what you need to understand about spaghetti plots. Each line is laying out the track for that specific model. So each line is using a different equation to figure out what it thinks the atmosphere and the storm is going to do. Further out the storm, the more spread out the lines are going to be. Think of it like a new boyfriend. Do not get attached because this will change. What to watch for with spaghetti plots is when they start to cluster. And that is where we get the cone of concern, the cone of uncertainty, the cone of please God no. No, no, no. Maybe that last one is just me, but I feel like it captures the moment. If you've lived in Florida, you've seen it. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is where I believe the most confusion comes in. Most people I talk to think that this shows where the center of the storm is going to go and the width of the storm. No, 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 that's completely incorrect. The cone represents where the eye or the center of the storm could travel. Has nothing to do with the actual size of the storm. Like take this map of Irma in 2017. If you looked at this on September 7th, it looks like Miami is about to get rocked. What this actually means is that the center of the storm could go anywhere from the Gulf of Mexico to the Atlantic Ocean. Fast forward three days and where was the actual landfall? Marco Island. That was actually in the cone three days out. But if you weren't checking back with your local meteorologists or weather team, you may not have realized that the storm was shifting. And Irma was massive. I mean, Lord. So if you thought you weren't going to feel impacts if you weren't in that little cone, you were gravely mistaken. Now, if I can take a moment in all seriousness for a second, I feel like the misunderstanding with the cone of concern or the cone of uncertainty is what caused so many issues with Hurricane Ian last year and probably led to some deaths that could have been avoided. So many people fixated on the center of the cone and Tampa that when it began to make the turn towards Fort Myers, people weren't prepared, even though Fort Myers had been in the cone. So please, in this hurricane season, don't fixate on just one cone or one model run. You really have to listen to your meteorologist because these maps and models, they're going to shift and change as a storm approaches. But if there is one absolute I can give you, if you spot Jim Cantori in your neighborhood, run for the hills.